Hello and welcome to the Swift tutorial which is about installing a new version uh, of uh, Swift and copying the settings and model sets from your previous version. Alright, so as usual we start on our Swift website and we click here the link for the Swift Pilot Client downloads. Uh, there we go. Um, we're talking about Windows 10 and X-Plane 11 and um, I will go for the latest uh, alpha version of um, Swift as of today. Uh, this is version 0.9.3 blah 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 1036 and as well uh, the same for the uh, X Swift bus. One short note about it, if you are using anything but a beta or release version of Swift. Uh, you need to download and unzip or extract the um, xswift bus directory manually. The automatic function in the setup wizard does not work. If you're using a beta or a release version, you can do that from within your setup wizard. So let's download here version 1036. There we go save as and we do the same for the uh, matching alpha x swift bus 1036 there we go save as download completed and we go back there So, 0.931036, so we start the installer. As usual, more information, then you will be able to install it, although the defender is complaining. Setup wizard, accept agreement again. I copy paste. I oh, know I don't need to because. Swift is smart. It found the previous version, 0.9264 bit, in my FS Online directory on a hard drive D like Delta. It's there. So it assumed that I would like to install the next or newer version of Swift in the same um, directory. That's pretty cool. There we go. Next. Uh, as before, I leave all options selected and there we go. We run the Swift launcher wizard. There we go. We agree. We enable the uh, crash reports. Next, and now we are on a on, on an important page because now you see this is the copy models page, and you see now this window has an entry, and this is version 0.9.21111 that I had installed previously, and that is still on my computer, and uh, so it does know my model set from there. So what I can do is, I can just copy it, so I do not have to create it again. So we leave the model set and model cache selected on. We select the correct simulator, which is explain, and then we start to copy. And yep, override model set for explain, yes. And override model cache for explain, yes. In case that you're using Swift with several simulators like prepared and explain, you're gonna have that. You can collect as well select it, and you're gonna have moments like to copy it as well for prepared. So now we go to next, and now we can copy the settings and caches for um, Swift from the previous version. So select the version, and then select all. There are not too many settings because I haven't done too many settings in the previous uh, version of Swift. If you've done so, you will see all these fields will not be grayed out, but you can select them. Then we go to copy. Copy three settings. You can close that and you can go to next. 
Now again, we need to select our simulator correctly. No, not prepared, not flight gear. We only have X-Plane and we select the simulator here. There we go, X-Plane 11 and we go to next. And there we go, explain selected, correct directory, models are there and the model set as well is still there. All good, we can go to next. X Swift bus. Remember, this is an alpha version. For the alpha version, we cannot use the automatic installation. So let's do that manually. Let me move that away. We go to our temp directory. We use the correct here, 1036. And I have the 7-zip program installed. And we do unzip or extract rather. And we go to our sim directory, explain, resources, and uh, plugins. And then you select OK. And because we already have XWIFT bus from the previous version, you just overwrite all of them. And this is it basically. So we can return to our setup and configuration wizard. So we can skip this and just go to next. We can check our hotkeys. We uh, see that it has um, copied the settings from my previous version and we finish. And this is it basically. And then if you would like to, you can start the GUI. And there we go, version 1036.